So my name is Adele Jackson and I'm from Australia. I'm about to start my PhD at the University of Oxford. And what area are you working on? Um, I'm going to be doing my PhD in low dimensional topology. Um, so if you think of a sphere or a donut, these are so in some sense two dimensional spaces that lo where locally each bit of the surface looks like a two dimensional plane. Right? But then globally they do something quite different. Um, so similarly, we can think about spaces where they locally, much like the room we're sitting in right now, look like a three-dimensional space, but globally, well, maybe if you go far enough to the east, you'll actually come back here or something like that, and these turn be very interesting. So. And what made you choose that area to work on? Uh, well, that's a good question. I think um, I like how in topology um, it has a lot of connections to other fields, which is really nice. Um, and I think I like how it's in some ways more qualitative. Like to me, um, a sphere and a cube are the same thing because I can so you can sort of squash one to become the other. And similarly, I don't care whether it's you know a circle or an oval or whatever, because which feels sort of natural to me. But then a sphere and a donut are very different things. Um, you you get this real insight into different spaces, and um, a lot of the time you can see that through maybe through geometry or through algebra um, in ways you wouldn't expect. But it sounds like you've got a real <laughs> intuitive kind of feel for what you're doing. Um, yeah, I guess so. It's, I mean, that's, I think that's sort of why I've liked the low dimensional things because um, in high dimension things get really, really weird and it's very interesting. Um, uh, but yeah, very different. Um, of course, there is a lot of rigor and proof in all of this, but it's, it's nice also to have a feeling for... For example, there's this very powerful idea called homology in algebraic topology. And on the one hand, there's, te there's a technical definition of that, and that's very important to have that nailed down. But on the other hand, you can, to some extent, you can think of it as that it measures what the holes are in a space. So the nth homology group measures the n-dimensional holes. And I really like having that sort of feel for it. Yeah. And <laughs> have, have you got a favorite sort of moment from your research or experience in your work? Sure. Um, well. So last year, I was trying to decide whether to do a PhD um, and applying for you know, jobs and that. Um, and I was also writing uh, my honours thesis, which is a weird Australian year, which uh, it's so sort of like a master's thesis. Um, I was working on this problem, and uh, I sat down and was working on a particular specific question, worked through some examples, made no progress. Next day, sat down to try some different things, made no progress. I think five weeks later, I was still doing the same thing. And, you know, the deadline for the thesis was coming on. And then, you know, one day I sat down, and it was, I think, 10 a.m. on a Tuesday, and thought about the question again, and it was suddenly clear what the answer should be, which was really lovely. Like, I'd never really had an experience quite like that before. So I was like, well, yeah, probably research. This could work. <laughs> yeah. So what does it feel like when you suddenly realise an answer is clear and it wasn't before? Um, I don't know. I think in some ways it makes you feel a bit silly for not seeing it. Like once once you see it, it's sort of like, well, there couldn't have possibly been any other answer to this. But it really speaks, I guess, to how by really thinking hard about these problems, you can get um, a much, you, you really improve your understanding in ways that are quite hard to really quantify or quite hard really to communicate to other people in that, you know, there's nothing quite like, you know, sitting down thinking about something hard for a couple of months. So, yeah, it was a nice day. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks.